The American ambassador has just arrived on HMAS Newcastle. The medal ceremony is scheduled to last one hour. We are to remain on alert status until Ambassador Davis departs. That is all. Why would the Navy get some big Yanks to dish out medals, eh? Join Task Force in the Gulf, mate. These guys distinguish themselves. The Americans are very grateful. Americans hand out medals like Chubba Chubbs, Sweeter. Sounds to me like someone's jealous. I don't need some Tim badge to tell me how good I am. <laughs> you do a pretty good job of that yourself. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So they're the hero dudes, eh? Bird, fourth from left. Talk about cute. Petty officer Dylan Mulholland, second class. Ooh. He could be my hero any day. <laughs> Congratulations, Petty Officer. Thank you, sir. Well done. Still got his arms and legs. How heroic could he have been? Major Mace, Hamsley, go ahead. It's decent of the ambassador to chop her all the way out here. Oh, Newcastle's on deployment, but that's just an excuse. Mm. Sorry, ma'am, can you repeat that, please? Good PR. It'll look good on the telly. Yeah, I, OK, can you calm down, please, ma'am? Sir, I've got a mayday. I'm having trouble hearing it. Put it on speaker, Ray. Sir. They're here now, up on deck. I can't... Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Ma'am, this is Lieutenant Commander Mike Flynn on Australian warship Hemmersley. Can you tell me your name? My name's Carolyn. Please help me. What's the name of your vessel, Carolyn? Uh, I'm, I'm on a fishing boat. It's um, the, the White Knight. Oh, my God, they're shooting. Who's shooting? I don't know. They just boarded the boat. Oh, God, I'm so scared. So there's nothing on radar or AIS. Do you think it's legit? Can you give me your coordinates? I don't know anything about boats. Just look for the GPS. I, I don't know. I, I can't. It looks just like a sat nav in your car. It should be right near the radio. Oh, this thing with the numbers. That's it. Read me the numbers. Uh, one, seven, zero, five. Zero, five. Zero, five. Four, six, two, four. Carolyn? Carolyn, are you still there? Please, God. Okay, 23 miles bearing 230, sir. All right, X, take a rib. We'll stay with the fleet. Listen, Morning Carolyn, station, we're coming to get station, you. Station, Morning station, Morning station. Do you promise? I give you my word. Appears to be deserted over. I told the woman to hide, X. Search everywhere. Yes, sir. Swain. Right.
okay, boss. Just two dads and the ex are still missing. Two dads. Grab my hand. Uh, <laughs> about time you guys showed up. Have you seen the ex? No? No. Come around 50 yards east of your position. Good spot, Bird. Uh, X, X, you right? Come here. That's it. Thank you. Pain? Headache? I have a slight headache. Day of the week, is it? It's a trick question. It's Tuesday. Mm. People are a little bit sluggish. Well, they're sluggish? Uh, possible concussion. We'll need a CT scan when we get I back to the shore. I don't need a CT scan. I'm not having one. I'm afraid the CT scan is mandatory, man. Please, God. I don't want to die. Listen, Carolyn, we're coming to get you. Do you promise? I'll give you my word. The White Knight was a fishing charter out of Cairns. With its manifest destroyed, we're unsure of how many were on board or their identities. And you think this was an act of piracy, Lieutenant Commander Flynn? Well, my crew members found no evidence of looting, ma'am, but it could be a ransom scenario. Then why blow up the vessel? To cover their tracks, let us know they're serious, that'd be my best guess. But we need to coordinate assets as soon as possible. All right, you've heard the Lieutenant Commander. We need to brief Canberra and our CEOs. Let's get on with it. How are you, Mike? I'm keen to get back out there, Maxine. <laughs> Yourself? Well, better for this change of scenery. I was getting itchy feet in camera. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Even at Adfa, you couldn't sit still through a lecture. Well, lucky for me, you took excellent notes. <laughs> yeah. And look where they got you. Hmm. I'll walk you out. Actually, that's what I wanted to speak to you about. According to your file, you've been up for promotion twice in the last 12 months and knocked them both back. Oh, promotion means sure posting. Well, judging from that Mayday recording, you could do with some time off the water. You gave that woman your word you'd get to it. Now, since when does a CEO make those sorts of promises? Thank you. Look, I need an ally in here, Mike, someone I can trust. I consider it a personal favour. Look, Maxine, we just docked to refuel. And you're keen to get back out there, OK? I won't press it, for now. I understand you're still waiting on some crew members? We had a few post off. All right, I just assigned you a new buffer. He'll arrive today before you sail. And here? Yeah, no. For a gap girl, you're pretty lucky. I was a full-blown able seaman before I saw my first explosion. Yeah, well, technically, I didn't see it. Just the aftermath. Stick close to me. Trouble tends to follow me around. <laughs> How'd you go to the hospital? Uh, the CT scan came back clear. Uh, looks like it's just a few bruised ribs. You know what that means? My own personal mess suits. Are you offering? Light duties. He's got on the planet. You must be our new buffer. Petty Officer Dylan Mulholland, sir. Mike Flynn. The other intros will have to wait. Bird, show our new shipmate to his quarters. Right. Hi. Jessica Bird. I'm new here too. I'm doing a gap year. Huh. I've always wanted to meet a real life hero. Well, that makes two of us. NAVCOM's assigned four patrol boats. Kingston's looking in this northeast quadrant. Tilders and Glenelg are searching here and here. What makes you think whoever's taken these people aren't long gone over the line? Easier to set up a ransom exchange if they stay local. Sir, latest vessel checks out. Nagao 3, it's a container ship out of Nagasaki. It's heading for Brisbane. Thanks, Ro. Keep checking every vessel we come across. Sir. Mark the contact X. Yes, sir. sir. Dylan, come on up. Sorry about my abruptness earlier. We're in the middle of a coordinated search. Oh, I've been fully briefed on the situation, sir. This is our RO, Robert Dixon. 
Andy Thorpe, Chief Engineer. Charge. Ah, I will bet my last dollar that you're a duchy. Surname like my Holland, who else could I be? <laughs> <laughs> and our Executive Officer, Kate McGregor. Hi, good to meet you. Ma'am. The guy's been in the Gulf on a big ship, even scored himself some fancy medal. Why would he want to serve on a little tub like this? I don't know, two dads. Maybe he's heard about the excellent scram. Yes. Well, I'm guessing the two girls in his convertible were not his sisters. <laughs> if they were, I wouldn't mind being part of that family. No. Oh. Uh, you know, he's not that flash, you know? And he'd want to think twice about pushing his weight around. I might just push back. <laughs> Don't worry, mate. I won't hold it against you. That's you. Leo, two dads. Yeah. He's always putting his foot in it. How are you, mate? Chris, Swanner. Nice to meet you. Bomber. Word on the street is you're a pretty mean chef, though. Well, I don't get too many complaints. Well, load me up. Oh. Put your tongue back in your head, Bomber. Hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations. Next time. Repeat MV Trader Star. This is Australian Warship calling you on VHF Channel 16. Over. So the coastal trade is refusing to acknowledge radio contact. I'll lead this evolution. Command State Oscars in force. Mark the time next. Yes, sir. Please, sir, 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 Swain bomber, have a look inside the containers. Looking for palm oil. Copy that, sir. Dutchy, check out the ship's manifest. Make sure everything's in order. Roger. Sir? The radio is out of action, but it's only because the battery's been removed. No battery, no battery. Looks like palm oil to me, sir. Search below. Right. X, Captain, get Rhoda run a check on this boat. MV Trader Star out of Dili, registration India 4 Delta Foxtrot 30. Get that? Uh, Ma'am, call just in from rescue coordination. They picked up an EPIRB signal. It's local. Mm hmm. Can you check that out? Manifest appears to be in order, sir. Sir, we've just been alerted to an EPIRB signal 33 miles southwest of our current position. We're in the middle of the search, X. Uh, sir, the EPIRB is registered to a fishing boat out of Cairns, the White Knight. The White Knight? Carolyn's boat? Yes, sir. Shall I request another asset respond? Negative, X. That's our priority. Dutchy, everyone in the rib. Roger. Twain, two dance bomber, back in the rib. Per bearing 325, range 2 miles. I'm picking up a signal 406 megahertz. Sir, green 10, 1000 yards. You hear their captain speaking? Looks like we have somebody in the water. Swimmer of the watch, close up. Heave in on the recovery line, hand over hand. It's a male, sir. It's not Caroline. Wearing a white night vest. What about the e perp? No, nothing here, boss. Okay, Swain. We'll need to continue our search. Sir, I ran that check that you requested on the MV Trader Star. The vessel you just boarded. Not now, Ro. Really think you should look at that piece of paper I just handed you, sir. This isn't the Trader Star. That's right. The boat we just boarded stole its identity. Let them go. We've recovered two more bodies. So we have three male victims, all wearing white night life jackets. 
Maybe this Caroline woman is still alive. I've alerted NAFCOM. Mm -hmm. Sent photos of the deceased to Commander White, see if we can ID them. Knocker. How is she? Don't ever let her hear you call her that. Well, in the Navy, if your surname is White, you're going to get called Knocker. Last I'll ever call her that, found himself mopping out the heads in a military lockup. Knocker is pressuring me to take promotion. Mm -hmm. How many times can you turn down promotion without it reflecting poorly on you? You'd have me off this boat, would you, ex? Well, sure, posting does have its advantages. See ya. Sir, Coast Watch have spotted that contact only 15 miles to our south. Thanks, Ro. Pipe senior sailors to ship's office. Yes, sir. Senior sailors report to the ship's office. Are we going to snatch board them, sir? Not immediately, Dutchy. I believe they have the woman on board, and they may kill her if we attempt a daylight takedown. No, so what do you have in mind? As soon as it's dark, we set up both the ribs and the path of the Trader Star, with a rope cable strung between them. Engines off. Blacked out. Completely invisible. When our target vessel drives into the rope... It silently pulls the ribs in towards the hull. The ribs move alongside, and we board her. It's a stealth tactic. It's been used by pirates with lethal effect. OK, it'll be dark soon. Prepare both rib teams and kit up. Full Kevlar, extra plate, sir. Sir, I want to lead it. Well, you're still on light duties. Well, we have a new buffer and this is the kind of operation where my experience will be invaluable. Well, in this instance, my experience might have to suffice. You know you don't have to protect me, I'm ready to go. It's got nothing to do with that. Was well, it about the promotion? Are you being pressured to take a desk job and all of a sudden you want to put yourself in the line of fire? I don't have a death wish, if that's what you're saying. No. But maybe you're overcompensating. I gave this woman my word I'd keep her safe. I didn't deliver on that. Thunder and lightning, this is Hammersley vectoring you into position. Come left five degrees. Roger that, X. Thunder and lightning. Oh, they're code call signs for the ribs because our mascot is Thor. Where's the boat we're chasing? They're on our surveillance system. There. So the ribs are heading for an interception point, right? Mm-hmm. Which is here in preparation for a stealth takedown. That's awesome. Yeah, it beats you 12, I bet. Thunder and lightning, that should do it. The MV Trader Star is now three nautical miles north and a direct heading for you over. We catch him. Okay, Dutchy, take up position to the west. 80 yards of line should do it. Keep it as taut as we can. Copy that. X, there's something going on here. Captain X, over. Go ahead, X. Sir, we have some action on the Trader Star. I'm looking at some men climbing onto a speedboat. They're on the move, sir. Are they heading for us? Uh, that is a negative. They are on an easterly heading, travelling at a good clip. What do you advise? Are you sure they were all men? The hostage wasn't amongst them. Uh, no, I don't think so, sir. Then she's still on the Trader, so we stick to our plan. Out. Rope's pretty tall, boss. Dutchy, hold there. Let's cut our engines. Copy that. All right, Thunder and Lightning, you are in a good position. The MV Trader Star is going to intercept you almost right through the middle. Over. Get ready. Secondary's off. Secondary's off. has hooked the line. In a moment, she'll draw the ribs to her sides as she moves forward, and then we board her.
Under here. Under here. Get out. Down. To dance. Charge a button. Take him. Get down on the ground. Flat on the ground. Press behind your back. Engines cut. Upper deck secure. Roger. Swain. Dutchy with me. You okay, bro? Yep. Ma'am? Carolyn? Carolyn? Are you okay? Tell Phil. Please. What's that? What did you say? I'm sorry. I had to tell, tell them. Tell them what, Carolyn? What did you have to tell them? How's she doing, Swain? Blood pressure is 90 over 50, and her pupils are reacting briskly. She's quite dehydrated, and she's taken a fairly fierce beating boss. I don't know how much blood she's lost. Sir, there's a hydrographic vessel to our south with a doctor on board, and they're heading up to rendezvous with us now. What about the two captured crew? They're down in Austere under guard. They're not saying a word. Sir, Commander White's on the south phone. We've identified the three deceased males from your photos, the White Knight's owner and two tourists from Sydney on a fishing holiday. My RO's sending through a photo of Caroline now. Do you have any idea what this is about, Mike? I mean, that woman was tortured for something. Who's Phil and what did she tell them? We're trying to work that out now. I've got my crew on board the boat, tearing it apart for information. Terrorist materials? We've got maps of the local coastline, satellite surveillance photos of nearby islands. A couple of Al-Qaeda training manuals. You've seen this kind of thing before? Yes, sir. Any change, Swain? No, sir. Sir, that ship will be here within the hour? Okay. You look exhausted, Swain. Grab some sleep. I'm not short on sleep, sir. Well, Bomber can watch over Caroline for a spell. Just let me know if her condition changes. Okay. We need to question the prisoners, sir. That's a job for the feds. With all due respect, sir, I think these men are planning something very big. And some of them are still at large. Let me question them, sir. OK. X, you go with Dutchie. I don't need the X. Well, you'll work together on this. Sir. How's the arm? No, I'm feeling so. You speak English? <laughs> yeah, you speak it all right. I'm going to ask you some questions. It's in your best interest to answer them. Okay? What are you doing here? What did you want from the woman you tortured? What did she tell you that was so important? Where did your buddies in the speedboat go? Dutchie, let him go. Let him go. Outside. Let him go. You should know better than that. Just trying to get some answers. <laughs> By torturing the man. Well, asking him nicely wasn't working, was it? Oh, so why not go straight to waterboarding? We just saved a woman from that sort of inhumane treatment. Hey, if you're going to give me the we're no different to them speech, don't bother. Ma'am. Is this how you got your medal in the Gulf? Caroline's coming around. Okay, just a few.
few steps. Okay, that's enough. That's it. Caroline, I'm Mike Flynn. I spoke with you over the radio. You said you were coming. I'm so sorry we didn't get to you in time. You did. These men who hurt you, who are they? You said, tell Phil I'm sorry I had to tell them. from the injury she sustained. Oh, my God. Phil. Caroline, who's Phil? Phil Davis. Ambassador Davis. What, the American ambassador? I work for him at the embassy. He's, he's holidaying here with his family on, on an island somewhere. Supposed to be a secret. Is that what you told these men? Where he is? <laughs> They're gonna kill him. Hello. Commander what? I've got Lieutenant Commander Flynn on the line. He says it's urgent. Put him through. Mike, this better be a national security crisis. The woman's identified herself as Caroline Taylor, an assistant to the American ambassador in Canberra. The ambassador? What? He's spending the week on Angel Island with his family. It's a remote, privately owned resort just off the Lehow Cays. According to Caroline, he's only got a very small security detail with him. Why are you telling me this? The group who abducted Miss Taylor tortured her for this information. We think they're launching an assassination attempt. Where is Miss Taylor now? We've transferred her to the survey vessel, which has a doctor. <sighs> OK, look, I'll make a quick phone call. I'll get right back to you. Uh, sir, can I take you through this? This is Angel Island. The resort is on the west coast here. This is where we intercepted the Trader Star. And their speedboat was heading off along that bearing. And they'd have to travel 20 plus miles to make sure they're off our radar. And then come around in a big circle and hit Angel Island on the east flank. Mm -hmm, which would add hours to their travel time. If we take a direct route, we'll be there in what? Four hours? Tops. Sir, Commander White. Plot of course, X. Sir. Maxine? Well, according to the Americans, the ambassador flew straight home to Canberra after the ceremony on Newcastle. Well, that's the official line. His holiday is classified. <laughs> what was this Taylor woman doing on a fishing boat on the Barrier Reef? Sightseeing. Obviously, there was a security leak at the embassy. I'm not even sure she works at the embassy, Mike. The Americans aren't confirming anything. Then you're obviously not talking to the right people. It's 02.30. The right people are sleeping. We're heading to Angel Island now, ETA 0600. Okay. I'll work on it at my end. Keep me informed. Sir, so, coming up on Angel Island. Anything on radar? No, nothing, though they could be on the other side of the island. I've got an American voice on VHF 16 wanting to know what the Navy's doing. This is Lieutenant Commander Mike Flynn on HMAS Hemmersley, over. Lieutenant Commander, I need you to turn your ship around, sir. Look, we have credible information of a possible attempt on Ambassador Davis's life. We're here to provide assistance, over. This is a restricted area. We do not need your assistance. We have a radar contact bearing 160. It just appeared from behind the southern tip of the island, sir. Pipe boarding stations, sir. You'll let me take this one. My ribs are fine. Boarding and I'm fresher. Mr. Boarding station, Mr. Boarding station. Just okay. Engine control. Stage three, condition void. The 
checks, the target boat is three miles from the beach resort and closing. Your range to intercept is a thousand yards. Roger that, sir. Target vessel sighted ahead of us. Speedboat approaching Angel Island. Heave to or you will be fired upon. X, target vessel's changing course. Turning around. What do they do? They've altered course and they're heading straight for us. Weapons ready! Secondary's off! Charge Typhoon. Sir. That, that can't hurt us, right? An RPG could breach the hull and sink us. X, cease your pursuit. I repeat, cease your pursuit and get clear. We'll take them out with a the Typhoon, but I need you out of there. Over. Let's go! Nothing here but dumb bow. Are they going to fire on us, sir? They'll need to be much closer with that RPG. Tracking him, sir. Speedboat 500 yards, sir. We'll be in their range within 200 yards. 400 yards. I want a three to five round burst charge. Sir. 300 yards, sir. Aim and target. They're fired. Right, right. Engage. That boat must have been loaded with explosives. My people tell me I owe you the big thank you. So cleanup's finished out there? No survivors? No, sir. I've spoken to Miss Taylor. She's on her way to Cairns. She's gonna be okay, thanks to you. Just doing our job, sir. This is my wife, Monique. Hello. Pleasure hey. to meet you, man. How you doing? Uh, I don't know about you, boys, but I feel like Cinderella at a little hour. A few more of these and you might start looking like it. Ah, uh, salmon de Villavance. Number five on my list of all-time favourite horses to this. Fascinating. What's your number one? Picking a blanket. Reminds me of a favourite game of mine. What's that? Hide the sausage. Dutchie's fitting in pretty well. Yeah, he seems really easy going. And he's pretty hot too. <laughs> but I take it that your GAP seamanship course that filled you in thoroughly on Navy rigs. X, I know all about the no-snogging your shipmates rule. But there is no rule that says you can't check them out. No, no, there's no law against that. I had a lengthy conversation with your Commander White. She speaks very highly of you. She's biased. We go back quite a way. And I'm also godfather to her teenage son. She told me you're reluctant to take promotion. Well, I just don't think I'm built for a 
Job behind a desk. Still got my sea legs. Mm. Our office does have its advantages, Mike, that more than compensate for any boredom. So people tell me. Tempura prawn cucumber sandwiches. Big Can blanket. Blanket. Does anybody... Oh, sorry. Can anybody tell me where the gents is? Bathroom. How many of those have you had? <laughs> Two or three? Oh, uh, just, um... They're very nice. <laughs> Uh, no, mate, I haven't spotted the head yet. Might want to try downstairs, though. Thank you. Uh, Robert, mm. stay away from golf buggies. And the transsexuals. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sir Dudgy, are you going to tell us he scored the medal in the golf or what? Uh, you know how it is. Uh, I've got no idea. What'd you do? Catch the biggest fish? Surf the biggest wave? Eat the biggest falafel. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, will you give Dutch and I a minute? Sure, man. Sure, man. Cheers. I just... I think we've got off on the wrong foot and given that we have to work together so closely, I was hoping that we could, you know, start from scratch. Of course, ma'am. Excuse me. Yeah. Tell me where the toilet is. I mean, you know, a bit of signage would be nice. Oh! What's your name, sir? Um. Oh. oh. tells me you and her would make an excellent team. It sounds to me like she's a woman used to getting her own way. Take it from me, Mike. If a woman like that puts her mind to something, there's no use denying her. Sooner or later, they always get what they want. Why don't you just think about it, Mike? A change of pace may be what you really need. Just a flesh wound. That's why I patched me up. Don't have a mic, Sid. I thought I might just hang by the door. Quick getaway, ma'am. Sit. Unfortunately, there's been a blanket on the press, so uh, the public are never going to know about your heroics. I can live with that. The people that matter, however, have been fully briefed. I've just been reading an email from the Admiral. He wants to know why Mike Flynn is being so stubborn about this blasted promotion. Don't tell me. He's been speaking with his old mate, the Ambassador. I have had Ambassador Davis on the phone too, chewing my ear off. It seems you've been doing your job just a bit too well. Hey, my godson. How old is Ryan now? 16? Nearly 18. Don't change the subject, Please, Mike. Please, Maxine. The office next to mine is free. You can't sit in a CEO's chair forever. Well, I wasn't thinking forever. I just thought the next year or three. Wait. Commander White? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just a second, sir. 
Chief of Navy, if you're determined to stall on this, you're going to have to explain it to the boss yourself. Lieutenant Commander Flynn! Mike Flynn. Any day now? I, I flop. <laughs> you mean you fall? Oh, I'm just right. Whatever. Uh, that's the game. What would you prefer to play, bird? Go fish? Hey, don't knock it. I'm actually pretty good at that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, what have I got there? Two pair. Threesome. Commander Flynn, congratulations on your promotion. What do you think? I think it could do with some curtains. We should, uh, you know, grab a drink, celebrate the promotion. Congratulations. And you're settling in? Maxine, this is my, was my executive officer, Kate McGregor. Commander, it's good to meet you. Lieutenant McGregor, good timing. Hammersley's just received an order to sail in 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Come into my office and I'll brief you on the operation and tell you all about your new CEO. make an enemy of me and your life won't be worth living in or out of the navy he's being subversive and he's lying okay you know the regulations you can't hide behind him anymore the boat ah. will ah. rock and I'm the boat. brand new super troll next thursday 8 30